All right, so for any diode circuit, in order to know if the diode is forward bias or reverse bias, we need to know the potential that would be across that diode if the diode wasn't there. So essentially a V Thevenin for the diode. And so for this circuit, we want to know what the voltage is from this point to this point. In order to do that, we're just going to kirch off from point A all the way to point D. We know that we want to have our plus potential at point A in order to have those diodes forward bias. So if we kirch off from point A, we've got plus 25 minus 8. So the potential from the, across from point A to point D is 17 volts. So from here to here, we've got 17 volts. And it is, it is positive uh, at A with respect to D. So the diodes are forward biased. We know that we've got 17 volts potential there. So now we can put in those polarity drops and voltage drops. Okay, so now if we've got those on, we know that if there's 17 volts from point A to point D, and we were basically dropping 1.4 volts across the diodes, we know that V, the resistor voltage, VR, is, it should be equal to 17 minus the 1.4. So 15.2. 6 volts. And that is also plus to minus. So we've got a plus to minus point 15.6 point volts. Now if we kirch off the entire loop, we should it should kirch off to zero. So I'm going to start right here and I'm going to do a kirch off loop going this way. So I've got minus 25 plus 0.7 plus 15.6 plus 0.7 plus 8. I'm going to hit the equals button and that should and does equal zero volts. So we know that our math up to this point looks pretty good. The next thing to do in order to know specific voltages at specific points, for example, VA, VB, VC, and VD, all I need to do is write uh, new Kirchhoff equations from those points to reference. So for example, VA, if I go from through the supply, I see VA should be a plus 25 volts. If I go the other direction, it would be plus 0.7, plus 15.6, plus 0.7, plus 8, which also should equal 25 volts. And then you're just going to do the exact same thing uh, from point B, point A, and point C, and point D. All right, so what about a circuit like this one? Okay, again, like any diode circuit, we need to know what the potential would be if the diode wasn't there at the position from the anode to the cathode. Okay, so in this case, we're going to thevenize or do V thevenin for the diode um, from between the two resistors to ground. So sometimes it's a little bit easier for something like this, a circuit like this, to go ahead and draw in the DC supplies the way they are. And so we know we've got a plus voltage right here. And on the other side of that is reference. And that on this one, We've got our minus 20 volts, and on the other side of that is reference. So we've got 10 volts here and 20 volts here, volts. So that kind of helps us see that the, um, uh, 
the the total voltage there is series aiding so we're going to get uh, 30 volts across those two resistors which means that we're going to have plus to minus and plus plus to minus Let's see here 15 volts and 15 volts if the diode was not there and maybe even with the diode there so that's what we're trying to find out so now we need to kirch off from the anode of the diode all the way to ground to find what the potential is across now across the diode and if we kirch off going this way going up we see that we've got a negative 15 plus 10 so that leaves us with a negative to positive 5 volts going that way and if we kirch off going the other way we've got plus 15 minus 20 leaving us also a negative 5 where the diode is now we can see because the negative is connected to the anode and the positive is connected to the cathode that potential that this diode is going to be reverse biased so it's acting now acting like an open switch in that position and from that we know that there's not going to be any diode current and that the voltage across that diode from anode to cathode is in fact going to be negative 5 volts All right, same thing. We are going to pull this diode and we want to find the voltage from point A to point B. So if the diode's out of the circuit, we know that we've got 30 volts series aiding. Those two supplies are series aiding. So now we've got plus to minus 15 and plus to minus 15 volts on both those resistors but that doesn't tell us um, what's A to B so now we need to kirch off from point A to B and we've got if we go to the left we've got minus 15 volts plus 10 which gives us a minus 5 volts and if we go to the right we've got plus 15 minus 20 which also gives us minus 5 volts now the anode is positively biased in respect to the cathode so now we know that the diode is in fact forward bias so now we can we can erase these and we're going to erase these for now and we're going to write in the 0 0.7 volts for that forward bias diode. Now we're going to write a Kirchhoff loop for each loop and we're going to find out what the voltage is across those resistors. So if we draw our loop going this way, we've got plus 20 volts and that's going to have to be a minus the 10K Let's call that R2, call it R1, this R2, minus VR2, minus 0 0.7, should equal 0 according to Kirchhoff's voltage law. So we've got 20 minus 0.7 equals, so minus 0 0.7 19.3 so VR2 is 19.3 volts
with a polarity of minus to plus or plus to minus um, left to right 19.3 Okay, and we're going to do the same thing for the other side. We're going to go minus 10. We're going to go this way. Plus VR1. Minus the diode. Should equal 0. So in this one, it's minus 10 vr1 is equal to 10.7 okay so we've got 10.7 take it bring it across to the other side that gives us vr1 is equal to 10.7 volts And that Kirchhoff's to zero. So now what we need to know or what we want to know is the um, two currents, two resistor currents. So if we've got 10K, 10.7 divided by 10, K equals 1.0. 07 milliamps here and we've got going the other way 19.3 uh, divided by 10k 1.93 And you can see this current is, if we've got current going negative to positive here, we've got 1.93 here, and we've got 1.07 going this direction. Let me see. Right? We know that the difference has to be going is what's going through the diode. And that's electron flow negative, um, elect, negative to positive electron flow. So if we've got 1.93 through the R2 resistor, and we've got 1.07 through the R1, we must have the difference through the diode. That leaves us with 0 0.86 milliamps through the diode. 